Lesson 1. What is trigonometry? Trigonometry is a branch of geometry that focuses specifically on the study of triangles. The most important type of triangle studied in trigonometry is the right triangle. Recall from geometry that a right triangle is any triangle that has a right angle, that is, an angle that measures exactly 90 degrees. Every right triangle has two short sides that are both called the legs of the triangle. The two legs of a triangle are always the two sides of the triangle that are joined at the right angle. The remaining side of the right triangle is the side directly opposite the right angle, the hypotenuse of the triangle. For example, suppose a right triangle has two legs of lengths 3 and 4. You can use the Pythagorean theorem to find out the length of the hypotenuse by plugging these two values into the formula as a and b. Now use algebra to solve for c. Because c equals 5, this triangle has a hypotenuse of length 5. You may remember this as the 3, 4, 5 right triangle from geometry. In trigonometry, you work with right triangles in a new way. To begin, trigonometry uses a new variable called theta, which is a Greek letter. In trigonometry, theta stands for the measurement of an angle. For example, in this triangle, theta is the angle between the leg of the triangle with length 4 and the hypotenuse, which has a length of 5. The position of theta plays a key role to help you distinguish the two legs of the triangle. The leg of the triangle that makes up the angle theta is called the adjacent side of the triangle. The remaining leg is called the opposite side of the triangle because it's opposite from theta. Note that both the opposite and adjacent sides of a triangle are always relative to the angle theta. Remember, however, that the hypotenuse of the triangle never changes. It's always the longest side of the triangle.